Rianne here from Not Just Back. So I've got a few practice updates for you. I've got some exciting news. Uh, we have been given the green light uh, by the Old Orchard Surgery at Wilton to go back in and practice from there again. So Rebecca Mehmet, one of our osteopaths and extra street, is going to do a Thursday in Wilton. So she starts from Thursday the 3rd of September. You can make appointments via our receptionists who are based in Salisbury and Tisbury. They both answer the phone, so um, if they phone you back, it might be a Shaftesbury number. Um, so the procedure for there is exactly the same as any of our other practices. You turn up on time, don't come too early because you have to wait outside. Um, there's, a, there's a window where you announce yourself at, to the receptionist at the GP surgery. Um, and then they will say to wait by the door. Rebecca will come and meet you at the door then. She will then ask you some pre-screen questions again and take your temperature and then lead you into the practice room. Um, so if you bring a three-ply fluid resistant mask with you to wear and also a freshly washed towel for the plinth as well. Um, parking is not at the GP surgery, it's opposite in the Michael Herbert Hall, it's a free car park. Well, there's some spaces on the road outside as well. So uh, that's great news and Rebecca will look forward to seeing our Wilton and surrounding villages patients there. So that's great. The other thing I want to tell you is that um, we have a new osteopath starting in Exeter Street as well in September. His name is Vitor de Costa. Now he's an English trained osteopath from the European School of Osteopathy. He uh, trains at the same place that um, Tom Kilner trained at. And uh, he is Portuguese. And uh, we have had many European osteopaths over the years, if you remember Steph and Maran and Anne Law. Um, so hopefully he'll be as lovely as all of those. Um, so this does mean a few little changes to our reception hours as well. Um, so because Vitor is coming in, we don't have, uh, Tom and I particularly, don't work between two rooms, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday now. So we have a room each. This means that your osteopath will be meeting you at the door. So the receptionist won't be coming to the door to greet you anymore on those days. Um, so please turn up on time because there is nowhere to sit before the receptionist was opening the door and letting you sit in the treatment room waiting for us but that can't happen anymore so turn up on time your osteopath will open the door for you and let you in even if there is a receptionist there they won't be letting you in your osteopath will be doing it for you unless the osteopath has told the receptionist that that, that they can open the door and they're ready for you to be whisked straight into the treatment room um, so our receptionists will be then making appointments for you as you come out when they are there so um, there'll be certain days that you won't see a receptionist in Salisbury um, they are going to be pre-screening um, when they are there so that's our news and our practice updates um, in this ever-changing world but hopefully there won't be huge amount of change over the winter We'll still probably have to ventilate our rooms, so it means that our appointment times are longer um, and all the cleaning that we have to do in the floor, etc. That will have to stay the same probably over this winter. Now, as it gets cooler, the other thing I suggest is that some of you are fantastically bringing your towel in. You may want to bring two because you may get a bit chilly laying. We'll, we'll obviously pump the heating up, but you might get a bit chilly um, laying there and obviously we can get clothes on you as well while you're treating but some for some it's harder to treat you with clothes on than others depending on the area that's the problem so so think about two towels as it gets cooler so there are my little updates um look forward to seeing you soon you take care everybody cheerio